So I'm kind of disappointed with myself. I forgot the Striker 9 received a very good sized buff to it at the beginning of season two, and I never covered the thing. That's my bad, but I'm getting to it now. And what I got for you today is a super low recoil and extremely fast paced Striker 9 build here. By default, this weapon has a very good damage range. You don't really need to increase any of that. One thing that it did lack was the overall recoil of the weapon, but that now that we've you know done a lot to help that recoil control, it's a very good medium range and close range option. Starting us off here with the Lockman Recon Series stock for gun kick control, aiming idle sway and recoil control. This is a very important attachment to help the recoil control and help you with your medium range fights. It's a massive 25% to the gun kick there, along with 5% to the vertical and horizontal recoil controls. For magazine, I'm going with the 40 round mag. As always, you don't have to run this. If you don't want to, you can increase it. You can decrease it. You could run the stock magazine. If you want to run an optic, this is the attachment I would recommend taking off, but the 40 round mag is where I prefer to have it. For the inner barrel, I'm going with the SL skeletal vertical grip to increase the aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed along with vertical recoil control. So this weapon, like I said, does need recoil, but we're also increasing the aggression with the weapon here. 7% to the gun kick, 8% to the vertical recoil control, 7% to the aim down sight speed, and 5% there to the sprint to fire speed. For a muzzle, as always, I'm going with the Zem 35 compensated flash hider for the vertical recoil control, horizontal recoil control, and fire aiming stability. So we're getting recoil control and visual recoil control with that fire aiming stability, 5% to the horizontal, and 15% to the vertical recoil control. In our final attachment to increase your aggression is the striker stubby barrel for sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, aim walking speed, and aim walking steadiness. The only sacrifice here is going to be bullet velocity and damage range. But like I said, this weapon by default has a very good damage range. Even after losing the 14%, we're at 12 meters for the effective damage range, which is very above average for SMGs in this game, but we are gaining a ton of movement. So I'll hide my camera quickly so you guys can see everything that's being gained. There's quite a bit here. The big two I'm going to say are the aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed, but the overall movement ADS movement speed are also good additions as well. You guys know the deal. There's all your attachments on the screen. If you guys needed to copy them down, pause the video, do whatever you got to do. Once again, you guys know what to do. There's the rest of the loadout. If you guys wanted to copy it down, not much more to say. Let's jump over into some gameplays to feature the buffed striker nine. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button as always. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's get it. Game number one with the striker nine. I have not covered this thing since it got buffed and that's my bad to be honest i had plans to cover it and kind of just never got to it a lot of like stuff came up i was busy you know what i mean and i'm not gonna call it like a hundred percent meta but like it even gets used in rank play so that should speak enough to you as to what kind of weapon it is Again, probably not a Willy got 100% meta, but it is a very good aggressive and medium range SMG that doesn't really get enough credit in my opinion. Whoa, where did I just, oh, he was across, dude. I thought that dude just 180 sniped me. I was about to be like, damn, brother. I just got trick shotted. That would have been tragic. I might have retired from Call of Duty. If I got trick shotted like that, there's a good chance I would have been like, yep. Time to retire. We're off to an all right start though. We got nine kills off rip here. Probably can get a decent amount here. You guys know Greece is like my map. I am going to do my normal route here where I try to go around because that's probably going to be the best option. There we go, that's a break, but they're probably gonna spawn on me here. So I'm gonna take a little swim here. Get your head in the gate, Kate. I was, it was a good guess that they were gonna spawn on me. Just based on where all my teammates are at, they haven't moved into the back yet. That's a helo. I think there's another one here. Yep. Smelly fingers down. I am cruising around the map. This weapon is not the hardest weapon in the world to use, but it's a satisfying weapon when you hit your dang shots. I've found a way with my build to make it much easier to hit shots, of course. Lowered the recoil, made the aim down sight speed really fast so we can maximize some of that aggression that the weapon's pretty good at. 
All right, and teammates are doing their thing. Advanced to Avisa, and we just saw another one. This hill always freaks me out. This is the only hill I have uh, confusion sometimes with the, uh, the spawns. Oh my goodness. Too early, I would say, for the advanced UAV, but it might be. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, we're just going for it. Dropped him. Reloading. I'm going to go chopper here. I'm gonna go right here. That's a never mind. I'm not doing that. On a 22. What I'm gonna do is go all the way in the back here. Hopefully, flip a spawn. I'm just hitting the dash on that because they're all there. They might push this way. So I'm just going to stay put for a second. Yep, there's one right there. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. I don't know. I'm taking too long on that scenario, so I'm just going to dip. I almost got tragic timing. We're at next hill. That timing was almost tragic. We have time to work with. I just got to stay patient with my pushes here and watch our flanks. In Dude, I'm lagging. No, 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 no. Why? Why are we lagging? I'm on 35 latency, so. Holy crap. That guy beamed me. Dropped him. I really want to push up. Again, got to watch our flank. Okay, that UAV is extremely helpful. Which way are we going to go? That took longer than I wanted it to, but I wasn't going to risk it. I've choked too many nukes in my lifetime here to want to choke that one. Going to let my swarm do its thing on the hill here. I can't rush at it. That's why. That should be a spawn flip. Kind of out of bullets. I don't understand why I'm lagging. Like you see, I'm just skipping around the map here. But then it restabilizes. I know they were having server issues a couple days ago. I don't know if they're still happening. They were going like there was like a DDoS attack or something that was happening with the Battle.net servers. This guy, Mechi beams that was an ambitious push out of me i didn't think they were gonna still be there but if i would have won that that would have been a nutty a nutty win there was a guy in the water. Where'd he go? Oh, he thinks he get, oh, did he get out? Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Where did he go? 
I'm gonna get shot in the back right now. I'm at 69. I want to get 70. Good is new. Yep. Got 70. Get the nuke in. Smelly fingers. Interesting name, sir. All right. That's a W. 71 kills is the final kill count there. Just to prove that I actually read the comments on all my videos, I don't, I don't just cap about that. Every single comment gets read. We are going with the veto for this Mercado gameplay. Somebody had said, you know, with how weird the swarm is on Mercado, why don't you just run the VTOL instead? I bet you'd end up getting more kills. So we're going to test that right now. The VTOL is a great streak. So we are going to put that to the test right now. So the goal of the video, I don't even need the advanced UAV. I just want to load up on the choppers. We're going to load up on these choppers, get an overwatch, get a VTOL, maybe a couple, if possible. If uh, So again, just to prove that I actually read these comments if you guys want me to run any streaks in particular let me know like i'll do it if you have a map in mind i'd be more than happy to uh to do that for you guys you just of course gotta let me know so v tools now in they're spawning over here I want to maximize how many kills I can get here with the choppers, so. I'm going to stay aggressive. I don't give two craps about a nuke. I almost got the worst timing ever. They're going that way. All right, two kills off another Overwatch. There's another one. Good as new. Enemies inside the perimeter. Changing back. VTOL's in. Oh, my grenade's stuck to that. Crap. I did it again! My god, I'm bugging. This guy is still there and I can't freaking hit him. And I can't peek because there's a guy right there. I'm done playing with that guy. All right. Dropped him. Reloading. Now we're calling it. Call it right in the hill. I did not expect them to spawn there. I'm going to keep it a stack with you. That was kind of insane. Don't fuck with my team. Stand by. Changing mags. They're still going to be there, I think.
Another VTOL. So that was the VTOL that's dead, so we're just going to call right back in. Stop shooting my stuff down. Need recon overhead. Super fast pace. I mean, I can't complain about anything. Throwing Semtex. I went to drop shot there and wouldn't let me. Oh, this is a cluster. No, they're just camping. Stop it. 74. I'm not going to say that it got me more kills, but it might have. This game was very quick. It's hard to say. Oh, that's a sniper. Well, this is the last chopper, probably. Probably won't even get a kill. 78. It was just super fast paced. I mean, I'm going to do a test. I'm going to kind of do like a. Well, I'll put the swarm on next game and do like the same amount of time how many kills I get, and we'll see.